नमस्कार आई एम अखिल श्रीवास्तव एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन द डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग ऑफ इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजी डिपार्टमेंट इन दिस वेदर ब्रीफिंग वी विल सी हाउ वॉज द वेदर ड्यूरिंग पास्ट ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स एंड वॉट वी एक्सपेक्ट इन टर्म्स ऑफ वेदर इन द कमिंग नेक्स्ट वन वीक इफ वी टॉक अबाउट द मेन वेदर फीचर और द वेदर हाईलाइट्स ऑफ द डे दट इज वॉट इज हैपन सिग्निफिकेंटली पास्ट ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स दैन वी सी दट दिस वॉज हैव टू वेरी हैवी रेनफॉल वॉज रिपोर्टेड एट एसोटेड प्लेसेज ओवर साउथ हिमालय वेस्ट बंगाल एंड सिक्किम तमिलनाडु पुदुचेरी एंड कराइकल इफ यू टॉक इन टर्म्स ऑफ वैल्यूज दैन कूच बिहार ट्वेल्व सेंटीमीटर इनफॉल वॉज रिपोर्टेड इन कोई मेट्रो ट्वेल्व सेंटीमीटर एंड इन नॉर्थ ट्वेंटी फोर परगना डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ गेंगेटिव वेस्ट बंगाल इलेवन सेंटीमीटर इनफॉल वॉज रिपोर्टेड और अपार्ट फ्रॉम इट हैवी रेनफॉल वॉज ऑल्सो रिपोर्टेड एट आइसोट प्लेसेस ओवर नॉर्थ इंडिया कर्नाटका गुजरात रीजन केरला एंड माहे एंड गेंगेटिक वेस्ट बंगाल इफ वी सी दी मेन सॉप्टिक फीचर्स विच आर इम्पैक्टिंग टूडे एज वी ऑल आर अवेयर दट द मानसून इज इन द विड्रॉल फेज द लाइन ऑफ मानसून विड्रॉल एज ऑफ टूडे इट इज कंटिन्यू टू पास थ्रू दी सेम पोजिशन एज इट वॉज यस्टडे दट इज ऑन ट्वेंटी नाइन डिग्री नॉर्थ एटी फोर डिग्री ईस्ट नौतनवा सुल्तानपुर पन्ना नर्मदापुरम खड़गांव नंदरबार नवसारी एंड ट्वेंटी डिग्री नॉर्थ टू सेवेंटी डिग्री ईस्ट हाउ एवर इट इज लाइकली दट द कंडीशन आर फेवरेबल फॉर फर्दर विड्रॉल ऑफ साउथ ऑफ मानसून फ्रॉम रिमेनिंग पार्ट्स ऑफ गुजरात मध्य प्रदेश उत्तर प्रदेश सम मोर पार्ट्स ऑफ महाराष्ट्र एंड सम पार्ट्स ऑफ बिहार एंड झारखंड ड्यूरिंग नेक्स्ट टू टू थ्री डेज If we talk about the main synoptic features which are impacting India today, then we can see that there is the well-marked low-pressure area which is situated over East Central Bay of Bengal of Karnataka, Goa coast. Also, there is a cyclonic cirrhotic circulation over southwest Bay of Bengal of Tamil Nadu coast, extending up to mid-tropospheric levels. There is a cyclonic circulation in lower levels over north, over uh, northeast Assam and neighbourhood, and also there is a western disturbance which is impacting northern parts of the country with a cyclonic circulation over Jammu and adjoining Pakistan and a trough aloft at mid-tropospheric levels. If we see the main highlights of today's weather, then the well-marked low-pressure area is like is over East Central Arabian Sea of Karnataka, Goa coast, and it is likely to move northwest. words and intensify into depression do, uh, over central arabian sea during next 2 to 3 days in addition to it we are also expecting isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall activity over kerala and mahe tamil nadu during the week and over ghat areas of maharashtra karnataka gujarat region arunachal pradesh assam and meghalaya during next 3 to 4 days uh, talk in terms of warning then we can see that uh, over tamil nadu uh, orange warning has been uh, issued for today for very heavy rainfall uh, activity and also over karnataka uh, over konkan and goa coast also in arunachal pradesh very heavy rainfall is likely today apart from that all the regions which are shown with the yellow color uh, mostly in the southern parts of the country they are expected to receive he- isolated heavy rainfall activity and in central parts of the country thunderstorm lightning and gusty wind is likely over madhya pradesh and adjoining areas if we talk about day 2 that is for the 11th of october then again very heavy rainfall is likely over Co- uh, konkan and goa coast and we are expecting heavy rainfall over tamil nadu kerala south and tirupati karnataka madhya maharashtra and adjoining regions also heavy rainfall is likely over arunachal pradesh assam and meghalaya on day 2 and we are expecting thunderstorm lightning activity to continue over central parts of the country and adjoining western parts of the country on day 2 if we talk about uh, the day 3 uh, uh, warnings then we can see the uh, heavy rainfall is likely to continue over the southern parts of the country especially over tamil nadu and kerala on also on the uh, uh, coastal karnataka konkan goa coast madhya maharashtra and south indra karnataka if we talk about day 4 again we are expecting that the uh, rainfall activity is likely to enhance over tamil nadu and kerala as we are expecting there are new cyclonic circulation to form over southern parts of bay of bengal around 12th of october in view of that orange warning has been issued for tamil nadu and kerala coast for day 4 and for day 5 also the same uh, conditions likely to continue with very heavy rainfall activity over tamil nadu kerala and over south india if we talk about day 6 and day 7 again the heavy rainfall warning has been issued for these coastal andhra pradesh rayalseema and kerala coast and uh, a yellow warning has been issued for these particular regions if we talk about fishermen warning then uh, fishermen are advised not to venture into the regions which are marked uh, in the gray areas as you can see in these maps this is with respect to the well marked low pressure area which has already formed over uh, arabian sea and likely to intensify into depression during next 2 to 3 days also uh, as we are expecting a formation of a cyclonic circulation around uh, central parts of southern bay of bengal on around 12th of october uh, in uh, view of that fishermen are advised not to venture into these marked areas because of uh, this squally weather which is likely to is likely over these regions during these days these are the main highlights for related to weather as of today you can get any updated information from our twitter facebook or x handles or from the youtube channel thanks for watching namaskar jai hind